Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to Minecraft. I have a special surprise for you today, and there's a reason why I'm looking at this little square fence thingy. One, uh, a couple days ago I decided to start using uh, creative mode for the first time. So, I've only been working in creative mode for about three days. But, it was like five, six minutes in that I decided to, to recreate one of the cities from my favorite, my favorite RPG. Uh, this is Vale from Golden Sun. <clears throat> At first, I was, uh, I was gonna, like, do a partially made si- I was, I was going to, like, showcase it before it was partially done, but after the three days showed up, I pretty much finished the entire village. <coughs> so, one, we have our giant Cyanergy Stone. Oh, whoops, I fell in the water. Wonderful. I'm great at these. And, uh, there is one scene in the game where there's a guy standing on it, so I made it so you can get up to about here. Everything else is blocked off. Uh, here. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put myself in, uh... No, I'll just leave this. Okay. So then we have, uh, the village. Look at this. I have my... All these trees are handmade, and they're placed in, I think, approximately the same location they are in the game. I made everything about 2x scale, 2 to 1 scale, so everything's a bit larger than it would be if I had done it, you know, the same scale. And I got my little houses, which are empty right now, but I do plan on making teleporters and teleporting to the inside of the buildings. In the shop, I got the, the signs on the shop pretty closely, I think. And we have the inn, which I still need to figure out how to make the inn sign to go up there. Um, and we have... The stairs. The stairs are supposed to be dirt stairs. There are no dirt stairs in Minecraft, so I used jungle stairs because they're the closest in color to the uh, to the dirt. And we have our cave over here, which I have not finished yet, and we'll get back to that later because that's a very important thing for this episode. I'm gonna fix my tie. So moving on up here, we have more things. I also made it so you can only travel to the. Lo you can only travel where you can travel in the game. So. If you can walk in it, uh, in the game, you can walk on it here. So that means you can go, like, over here. And that's why I made the trees short, so you can't walk under them, because you can't walk through trees in the game. This is supposed to be a pot. I couldn't make a pot, so I made... This is supposed to be, like, a jar with a, with a lid on it. So I used a, a jukebox with a pot on top, a flower pot. It works just fine. Um, let's see. We got some more houses here. I think that barn, the barn is right over here that you can't get into until later in the game. Well, I think this is a first, for a good shot for my first time ever using creative mode. Um, let's run over here. We have our bridge, and we have uh, Felix's house, and the destroyed, the destroyed house with the destroyed. Thing, and then the thing he was hanging on to in the beginning of the game. Aw, uh, and my waterfall. I used uh, spider webs at the bottom of the waterfall to make it look like, uh, to make it look like, uh, splashing water. I thought that was pretty cool. And I got all the grass. The grass and flowers are all in the same places that they are in the game. Uh, and these ferns are like those little tiny bushes that you can walk over. They, yeah, I couldn't find any other way to do it, so I used ferns. Let's see. Let's go up here. I've got two different sizes of trees because there are two different sizes of trees in the game. We got another bridge. Let's head over to Felix or not Felix, Isaac's house. Let's over to Isaac's house. Isaac's house is over here. Right here. Stabam. Check this out. We have the ladder to get up on top of the roof and everything. And this is the best way to the uh the game had, like, little broken bits in the roof that you could walk over, so I decided to just use black wool here. And for some reason, you can get up onto one little spot higher up on the roof than everywhere else, so I added that too. Uh, let's see. I believe this right here is Garrett's house, I think. I can't quite remember, it's been a while. And then the little pushable block here, which we can't push blocks in Minecraft, as far as I know. Um, but yeah, there's that. The little pillar that you can push around, that they that they use move on. And then here's the Sanctum. 
I did le I left the doors open on this because I couldn't find a good way to make the doors close. So there's that. Cuz whenever I I couldn't make a, I couldn't make it look like a good closed door. I also couldn't make the sun logo on the top here, so I just kind of made it out of uh, steps. And then over here we have this the place you're not supposed to go, Mount Alif, which as you can see is under construction, which I'm going to build later. And we go over to, uh, let's head over to Creighton's house. Creighton's house is always fun. And another bridge, a big long waterfall. So yeah, this whole, this all took me about, uh, what, three days? The, f the whole first section of the town over there took me one whole day. And then, uh, because I had no idea what I was doing. And then, like, the whole rest of it took me one day, and then I took a whole day to just, like, add more detail and stuff. Here we have Creighton's house. And I did make all the buildings that are sa the same, the same, and then buildings that have, um, you know, different features. I made them unique looking. Oh, here's, this is gonna be fun. Over here we have, uh, the path to, to Vale Cave. Down here. And I made the, the rock levitating, because it's like you're using lift on the rock. Um, and then back here I also have another spot that's under construction. I haven't quite finished this part off yet. As you can see, it's literally just uh, just a blank slate. That'll probably be done today after I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah, but today I am going to try to learn how to make portals with command blocks. I have never used a command block, so uh, we'll see how this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be making the insides of all these houses too. And then I'll just make it so you walk in here and it'll port you to them. Now, I've never used command blocks before, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, nope, not game mode. Uh, let's see. There we go. Command block. And that's why this one right here isn't finished because I have the cave that it goes inside right over there, as you can see. Um, all right, let's see if I, I have the coordinates of the locations where the teleporter is gonna go. And I have the, oh look, the moon, ha. Um, I have the locations and I know what I need to use to build them. And I'm gonna finish up my, my cave here. Uh, bl Bloak. Uh, no, I need black black wool so I can finish that up. And I need a I need a pressure plate. And I think that's everything I need. So the pressure plate goes here. This gets the okay TP to target nearest player. Uh, at P. Uh, okay, then I have the, the 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 place with the cave, the coordinates for the mouth of the cave over there. It's 48 and 25. Let's see if this works. Well, let's. Uh... Oh, I can't stack. Uh, well, well, first let's see if it works. No. Oh, uh, done. There we go. Huh, that didn't work. Oh, two. That needs to be TP. Done. Now let's see if it works. Huh? Yeah, look at that. I teleported right into the cave. And I believe... I believe this has bread in it. Hold on, let me get some bread. I believe this has a... Uh, I, have a I believe it has a bread in it, so I'll just put a bread in there. Sounds like fun. Yeah, there we go. And now I need to command block and do it backwards so that it does this uh, and then let's see I think I'm doing this right I go at uh, oh, TP at P six fifty one thirty 
Haha! -ha! Awesome! Oh, whoops. Oh, that doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, I know what I need to do. This needs to be... That one needs to be set differently. Okay, so I need to do... I need to do this. I need to... Oh, whoops. Uh, no, I can leave that one there. I just need to do... This... And that one over there needs to... To be at this location. So that needs to be... 22, 48, 26. There we go. I'm learning. So then... Okay, let's teleport... Oh, I need to redo this. TP at P22. Oh, no. 6. 6. 51. 30. Bam. And this needs to be 26. Haha! -ha! Done! Oh my gosh, that is awesome. And then all I have to do is, uh. I need to finish off the, the mouth of the cape. So I fill up that little spot with the black like I have with everything else. Let's go up and underneath. Let's take the black wool and I guess literally just right over here. And then do that. And then do that over here also. Ha! -ha. And all right, let's see if this works the way... Oh, I'm missing a... Missing a piece of, uh... Rock here. Dirt. How did that happen? Oh well, fixed. I've probably got little pieces of things that I'm missing all over the place. All right, so we have... Ha-ha! Awesome! And that just teleports you in and out of the cave. And I'm going to be doing that with all the houses. So the how I'll have the uh, the inside of the buildings underneath and then the outside of the buildings on top. And then they'll just teleport you back and forth from inside and outside the buildings. And I think there's a way to make these uh, pressure plates invisible, which I'm going to learn how to do that sometime. I'm not quite sure. But that is about all the time I've got for this episode. Uh, I will do more videos of this place once I have it more completed. Um, there's still quite a bit of stuff that I need to learn how to do. But I think for the very first time for having used uh, creative mode, I think I did pretty well. Um, so yeah, I have... All these places are literally just what's the map in the game. So there's these huge empty spaces, which I think I'm just gonna square out. So I'll just like take the take these you know these lines and just continue them outwards that way and that way to fill up to make it look you know more 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 uh, more full and stuff like that. So then I don't just have like you don't just come over here and you can't just like see underneath everything back over here. Yeah, because you can see back through there. So then I'll just fill in that space. And then I'll be done. And then, who knows? I'll make... I know I'm going to make Mount Aleph. And I think I might just make the rest of the game. I mean, if it took me three three days... Three days and change to make this... And this is one of the largest maps in the game. Especially for the towns. Usually the towns are like one square. So this is one of the largest buildings, or one of the largest maps in the game, so it won't take me nearly as long to make a lot of the other stuff. Some of the dungeons and stuff will take me a really long time, but I'll hit that hurdle when, I, when I've when i come across them. That is about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and favor if you like the episode, subscribe if you want to see more. I actually might make this into a whole separate thing, so I'll have my regular Minecraft series going, and then I'll have my, my weird... I'm going to try to create all of at least the first game. I think that'd be really cool. This gives me a good project to do while my videos are uh, are are 
rendering and uploading and things like that. Also, that quells my need to want to play <laughs> to play when I'm not recording <laughs> because I was playing the uh, I was playing my survival game a lot before before this. So uh, yeah, I think that's really cool. If there's any tips that you guys have for me about what to do, how to make things look better. Oh, one more thing. I do have a secret message hidden in hidden in here. It was a complete accident at first. I was uh, going through here and I accidentally wrote hi on the wall here. But it was inverted and it didn't quite match up. So I just kind of like inverted the colors. <laughs> so that it says hi. I don't know if you can see that on the capture very well, but <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, yeah. Good night, and I will see... Oh, well, where's the moon? Good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I've got... I've got my map here, and I'm gonna try to fill this out. And, and then maybe if I'm done before the end of the episode, I'm going to uh, try to... Um, try to put it in a frame or something.